hey, hey, I am your girl Cynthia, but you know you can call me Gix and welcome to the new show right here on Active FM where radio has never been better. And I'm here to give you the lowdown on what's happening in the world around you from general news to politics and beyond. And like I said, it's the new show right here on Active FM where radio has never been better and you can catch us on our different platforms on www.activefm.co.za we on google podcast we on apple podcast and we on spotify as well and can i just tell you that we've recently updated our website and it is banging it is hot it is awesome it is amazing i love it it is really really awesome and you should go check it out man and you can get to know the presenters through the website as well you can see all our awesome presenters from the void you can see the presenters from the cage you can see presenters from all things girls and you can see presenters from the political show the political show so get to the website and tell your friends about the website tell your family about the website i'm telling you it's really 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 awesome and like i said you can also catch us on apple Podcasts and google Podcasts so that you can just subscribe so go on to apple Podcasts or google's podcast and look for the specific show that you want to listen to in this case the new show search for the new show and subscribe and get downloading and what happens when you subscribe is your your phone will automatically update you as the shows come out and then you can just download the show and listen to the show you can send out the link to as many people as you want to to your family to your friends and like guys let's listen to the show and you have something to talk about online and the same with spotify download the spotify subscribe to the different shows and yeah let's just keep each other company and then you can also catch us on our social media pages we on instagram at active fm 777 we on facebook forward slash active fm we on twitter at active fm and you can also catch us on tick Talk. yeah we on tiktok so you can catch us there and we also on youtube you can subscribe to the youtube page on the active fm youtube page and you can catch our amazing amazing live shows and every monday at 9 a.m not p.m 9 a.m gmt plus 2 south african time you can catch live active fm shows they are really really awesome they are amazing so yeah let's get out there let's keep each other entertained on social media and keep the light up if I can put it that way, I mean, if you look at social media these days, it's just all doom and gloom. Coronavirus is gonna kill us all or whatever. And as the Active FM team, that is not what we promote. So we don't promote the doom and gloom of Corona, but then we actually bring some entertainment and some light and all of these things. So get to our social media pages, get some light into your world and share it out there to as many people as you can. Now this week we are talking about, we are looking at more into South African news and last week, Wednesday actually, uh, it was announced that there was going to be a 350 rand social grant given to specific people and one thing that I've noticed of, by speaking to people and things is that people don't really know how to access these specific grants. I know that Friday last week it was officially non-lockdown which it's not really like that we're still on lockdown it's just we are on level four of lockdown which is basically the same as level five of lockdown with just less restrictions and a curfew and some stores are open and i remember we went to the mall on the friday to get some stuff for the house essentials for the house and stuff and it was packed it was really really packed and i even remember seeing just a funny story i remember seeing someone that i know and i don't think they recognized us from afar because we were wearing our face masks and everything and they were literally just standing in the middle of the parking lot doing nothing so people took the opportunity to actually go out on the Friday, the 1st of May, so that um, just because it was the extension or the lockdown was eased up and things like that. But then what I saw is that people don't really understand the regulations and people don't really understand what is happening. They just hear from the memes or from what people decide to post and things like that. So I'm going to be speaking about what you need to do to actually gain access to the specific grant 
so yeah that's what the show is going to be about it's really going to be awesome it's going to be amazing and i hope you stay tuned because i am your girl cynthia but you know you can call me geeks and this is the new show right here on active fm where radio has never been better <laughs> Hot presenters. Hi, this is Gavin Inslin. The best topics. How do you turn your house from being just a normal home to a five-star hotel? <laughs> the hottest music. Do you love me tender? The most entertaining presenters. You are on the movie show. And in your left corner you have Ryan. And in your right corner you have Bad. Everything you could ever want in radio. Radio has never been better. So now, how do you gain access to the 350 Rand COVID-19 grant? On Wednesday, 29 April 2020, the government has outlined the process for the application of the COVID-19 social relief and distress grant for individuals who are currently unemployed. So if you do get money, if you are employed in some way, please let the people that really aren't employed to gain access to this specific grant. But addressing a media briefing on Wednesday in Pretoria, Social Development Minister Lindy Zulu said that the qualifying applicants will be paid 350 rand per month from May until October of this year. If you look at it, 350 isn't really a lot, but I know that there was a time in my family's life where we could live off of 300 rand. I was just living with my siblings and we would get about 300 rand like in the middle of the month, beginning of the month, whenever we could, and we would buy the things that we really, really needed. So 350 rand per month from May until October 2020. The grant forms part of the 500 billion Rand economic and social relief measures announced by the president last week as part of the national response to the COVID-19 pandemic. The special COVID-19 social relief of distress grants will be implemented in terms of the existing avenue provided by the social relief of distress, which is also known as the SRD channel, which is administrated in accordance with the provision as set in the Social Assistance Act of 2004. In terms of regulations 9, social relief may be provided to South African citizens, permanent residents and refugees who have been affected by a disaster. This framework is currently, wait, can I just stop there? This is one of the very first programs that I've actually seen in South Africa that is helping out refugees. I mean, as a refugee myself in South Africa, it's really hard to get help in programs like this because you are a refugee. I know the ID that I have is is not a green South African ID, but it's a red refugee ID in South Africa. And basically allows me to do everything except for vote uh, in South Africa. But I know that going to the bank, I needed to open a specific account during lockdown. It was important. And um, because of the type of ID that I was using, I was unable to open the, uh, the bank because home affairs wasn't open and things like that. So it's been kind of hard actually seeing a program that also helps out the refugees and stuff in South Africa is quite awesome. I mean, I'm proud of our government because of this. This framework is currently administered through the South African Social Security Agency, also known as SASA, however with limitations. Now the minister said that the new special COVID-19 SRD grant requires a rather more complex approach as the beneficiaries are not on the SASA database or other government grant support programs. It was therefore necessary to introduce new systems and new qualification criteria and amend some regulations. The Department of Social Development will publicize the directions which will provide details on how the grant will be implemented. The system will go live immediately when the regulations are published and the envision to start making payments by the 15th of May 2020. Those who have applied during the trial run will be contacted to provide further information. So now what are the qualifying criteria? I mean, this is awesome. The fact that they're helping out people that are already not in their system and things like that. What makes you a qualifying human to actually get the grant? Now, the qualifying criteria for the special COVID-19 social relief and distress of 350 per month for distressed individuals are as follows. 
The first thing is the grant will be available to South African citizens, like I said, uh, permanent residents or refugee registered at the home affairs system. So it's legal people basically who reside within the borders of the Republic of South Africa. The second part is applicants must be above the age of 18. So if you're under 18, you are under age to receive the 350 grant. You must be unemployed. You must not be receiving any form of income and you must not be receiving any social grant. So if you're already in the SOSA system and you receive a grant of 1,000, I think it's 1,500 rand a month, you do not qualify for it. So like I'll repeat the criteria again, you need to be above the age of 18. So 18 years old and above, you need to be unemployed. You shouldn't be receiving any income. You shouldn't be receiving any social grant. You should not qualify to receive unemployment insurance benefits. So you shouldn't be receiving a UIF or qualified to receive UIF as well. You should not receive a stipend from the National Student Financial Aid Scheme. So if you're part of NASFAS or whatever similar things, you do not qualify for this. And a non-resident in a government funded or subsidized institution. So that's basically what you should be as an applicant. Now, prospect applicants will need to provide the following compulsory information for processing their applicants. So let's say you go through, you tick all of that, you, you're above the age of 18, you're unemployed, you're not receiving any income, you're not receiving any social grant, you're not receiving any UIF, uh, you're not receiving something like the NASFAS or whatever, you're not a resident of government funded or subsidized institution, then this is the information that they will require from you. you they'll need your identity number, or Department of Home Affairs permit. So if you've got a home affairs status, an asylum, or if you have an ID number that they'll need that, they'll need your name and surname as captured in the ID. So for instance, if my name is Cynthia and my surname is Bebel, but on my ID it's Geeks, Limbo, or something like that, then I will not qualify because my name is not matching what the Department of Home Affairs basically has in their system. And you need to have your initials as well. You need to have your gender and disability if you are disabled. You need to have your banking details. So it's the bank name and account number. And can I just tell you, those are banking details. I was once speaking to someone and they needed to send me their banking details and they sent me their card number so just while we're here please do not ever give anyone your card number as your banking details if someone asks for your banking details give them the bank name branch code if you have to and your account number account number is not the number that is on your card but it's on the number that is on the form that you receive from the bank your contact details which is your cell phone number and it needs to be a working cell phone number so the number that you are currently using not a number on the phone that you do not see every where you only see every five days or whatever it needs to be a number that you are currently using and then proof of residential address that's the information that is compulsory and that they will need. And the application process goes as follows. An application for social relief of the stress or a social grant may be lodged electronically over and above any other available means of lodging such applications. The measures applicable include sending a WhatsApp message to the following number 060 0123 456. How simple is that? So I'll say it again, you can send a message on WhatsApp where it's 060-0123-456 and selecting SASA or an email to the following email address srd at sasa.gov.za So I'll say it again, you can send an email to the following srd at sasa.gov.za and the minister basically said that they are still finalizing additional access channels uh, which include SMS, self-help desks and an online application process and they will give information on these soon. The minister also said for people who have no access to technologies, volunteers will be trained to assist applicants who cannot use technology and will be provided with gadgets to capture details on behalf of the applicants. Notifications of the outcome for an application for the special COVID-19 social relief and distress grant will be provided in the same manner in which the application was made. 
So that's how you'll get the notification. And then the payment of the grant will work as follows. Now, payments of the grant will be made mainly through bank accounts of the applicants and through cash send measures through banks. The minister said that the benefit of the grant will be paid from the date of approval up to the end of October 2020. If the grant gets approved on the 15th of May, then you'll be paid on the 15th of every month until October 2020, basically, provided that the qualifying criteria listed continues to be met. So if applicants apply in June, their payments will be from June and there will be no back pay. So. You cannot expect to be paid for May if you only apply in June and it only gets approved in June. You cannot expect to get 700 Rand then. You will only get the 350 Rand from June onwards. And then finally, applicants should note that by virtue of application, all applicants grant consent to SASA to verify their residency, sources of income and or social security benefits with government departments and financial institutions, including all ID and permits will be cross-checked against other data sources. So they will check, what they're saying here is that they will check whether you have any other form of of income because one of the criteria or one of the, the yeah one of the criteria that allow you to become an applicant is that you shouldn't have any form of, of income or whatever they will check that against other data sources as well and then lastly the minister said that any false applications will give rise to possible prosecution so they are taking this very seriously and if you are one someone who is going to apply for this type of grant you also need to take it seriously we do not want uh, fake uh, applications we do not want false applications and stuff like that so they will rise to possible prosecution if it comes to that so don't do that keep safe we do not want to hear that you were in jail listening to Active FM, which I wouldn't mind. I mean, we just don't want you to go into jail for something as stupid as doing, making a false application for the 350 Rand and actually leave it to people who need, really, really need the 350 Rand. And that's what we have for today. I mean, it's quite interesting. It's quite awesome that people who can't afford or are actually getting something because one of the biggest things is that in this lockdown, a lot of people are dying of starvation. Like I said in the political show is that I live in a neighborhood where if people don't work or get any income, they will die of starvation and they would rather live with the virus than not work or receive an income and, and stuff like that. And this also shouldn't be a mentality because this is what as South Africans we have is this mentality of the government owes me. The government owes you nothing and if there's a way that you can actually gain income instead of getting this 350 Rand then do that. I mean 350 Rand really isn't anything so you can. You can make an income, you can get an income and do it man. I mean there's people who are making masks out there because they need an income. Uh, yeah so basically just do what you can to get an income and, and and if you really really can't and you need the help of the government then go out there and get the help of the government but don't let your mentality be that the government owes me something i need to get this 350 rand because nobody owes you anything and we all have if you pray to god and ask god for creativity to come up with something so that your family doesn't die of starvation or whatever then do that and you'll see that god will definitely give you the creativity like i said this is active fm where radio has never been better Live, right here on Active FM, we bring to you the Active Worship Inception album. The joy of the Lord is my strength. I rejoice that your word unfading. album on Spotify and Apple iTunes. If you're interested in downloading the album, well, contact us for more info. It 
it has been a really 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 interesting show i enjoy sharing the news with you guys and I, i'm sure you guys enjoy listening as much as i enjoy listening to active fm as well so remember you can catch our awesome 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 shows on www.activefm.co.za and we've recently updated our website so it's really really awesome so go check it out and let your friends check it out as well and then we also on apple podcast and google podcast and don't forget to subscribe so that uh, your phone automatically updates for you and then we also on spotify so you can download our shows on spotify and then you can catch us on our social media pages on instagram at active fm 777 we on facebook for slash active fm and we on twitter at active of M. So this week we basically spoke about how you can gain access to the 350 Rand social grant that the government is giving out to people who do not have any source of income here in South Africa. So you can go back and listen and or you can share it to people who you know need the grant and things like that. But remember also I say you should not have the mentality that the government owes you anything because the government doesn't owe nobody and you can pray for the creativity to come up with something so you can make money and if you're family really needs it but also yeah so get the the show out there to the people that you know and get down and let's listen to the show remember that this is the new show right here on active family radio has never been better i'm your girl cynthia but you know you can call me geeks and i'm signing out until next week the wait is over is over Hold on tight. We are in the overdrive. Welcome. This is your favorite station. Stay tuned. Turn up the volume. The volume. Three, two, one. One, one, one.